We got him. 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 Get him on shore. Get him on shore. Get him on shore. Get him on shore. Oh, dude. Yep. 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 Keep her on tip low. 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, dude. Yes. Look at the size of this thing, dude. What a unit of a fish what is up guys we are back with another video today we're going to be attempting to catch some carp in this neighborhood pond right here very awesome fish i've never caught them before in my whole entire life so hopefully today will be the day that i catch these carp i'm going to go ahead and put that gopro on my chest so you guys get the better view you know the deal let's get it peace all right so here's going to be the plan of execution i looked up online and apparently corn works really good as bait for carp but we're just gonna open this whole entire can of corn and we'll just basically chum the entire water with this corn. Can is now opened. We'll just kind of throw it in the area that we're gonna be fishing at. So over here, we'll just kind of throw like handfuls of corn over here. And we'll just see if that gets them to come over. We're gonna use one whole can. We'll just kind of just like that. All right. Now we're gonna start with this one, which I've got rigged with 12-pound fluorocarbon. Its key purpose is that it's literally invisible to the fish, and they can't see it at all. So that's why people like using fluorocarbon. And also with carp, they get very spooked like super easily. So I'm hoping that. They won't be able to see it and it'll be good and then also what i'm gonna do is put some corn on here but we're just gonna bury this entire hook in the corn so probably about three or four pieces should do for it the whole entire hook's pretty much buried now with corn so they can't even see the hook but what i'm going to do is put it like right in front of this area doesn't even have to be out far just right in front of this area and perfect that's actually perfect right there and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little handy dandy cart that I brought with me I'm gonna put my cart right here put the pole up on the cart oh we're also gonna loosen this drag a lot because we want them to run with it and yeah, this is all we're gonna do. Just like that. If we see this going out, then we know that we got a fish on. And I'm thinking we'll probably do the same thing with the second pole as well. Same exact setup with the second pole. We'll see if that'll work. Let's see if I can find a small hook that I had. I just had bought some really small ones. Here you go. Something like this, one on it. Maybe even smaller than that. If I can find something a little smaller, that'd be even better. Cause they don't really have that big of um, mouths, so. All right, we'll just tie on one of these. one aught hook, circle octopus hook. Perfect size for these fish. And then we'll just put it on this one right here because I like this braided line a little bit better in this particular water because it's darker. So I feel like it would be a little bit more discreet. I'll do the same exact thing I did with the other one with the corn. I'm gonna quite literally bury the hook with the corn. Put probably like four or five pieces per hook. So here you go, that's literally perfect. Look at this, you can't even see the hook at all. Completely hidden, completely discreet. And we'll just go over here in a different section. I'm gonna see if I can get a bite. I'm just gonna, just like that. Something like that. I'll leave it right there. And then we'll get it right there. 
but we'll be able to see if these guys get pulled out or not. Yeah, there's something on. Yep. Here's all we're gonna, here's all we're gonna do. Just watch this. Watch this. We're gonna just tighten the drag slowly. What that's gonna do is it's now setting the hook as he's pulling it. I'm just tightening the drag. That's all I'm doing. And it's setting the hook in its mouth. And then, should still be on. Yep. 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 Yep, he's running. He's running. Look at that. Way out there. Way out there. Oh, this is a beast. Look at this. Look at this. He's running. He's running. Oh, we got him. 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 Get him on shore. Get him on shore. Get him on shore. Get him on shore. Oh, dude. Look at that, man. Look at that. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> yes, man. Big old ball of corn. Look at this guy thrown all the way out over there. Oh, look, there's one right there. Let's see if I can go and bite it. I wonder if I bite it right away. He's right there, bro. Right there. I want to get it near him. See if I buy it. He's about to slurp it, dude. It's in his mouth. It's in his mouth. It's in his mouth. It's in his mouth. He's running. He's running. He's running. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Tighten it up. Tighten up the drag as he's running. And that will set the hook. Then we'll go like this. And we'll just start reeling in. Yep. 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 Keep it on tip low. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Yes. <laughs> dude. <laughs> yes, sir, man. <laughs> what a tank, dude. Yes. Dude, I love these fish. This might be my new favorite fish to fish for, bro. What a unit, guys. Absolute massive carp. Look at the size of this thing, dude. What a unit of a fish. All right, guys, let's kind of about wrap it up for today. This has been an amazing day of fishing, guys. Ended up catching two units. Got them on the Walmart corn, man. $2 investment. Got me my first ever carp and then also one that was bigger than that right after as always make sure to like these videos comment on these videos subscribe to the channel and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace